We bought a house. Welcome you guys. I thought on today's video I would do a before house tour so we're not completely moved in yet. If you have no idea what I'm talking about and you're new to this channel, make sure to check all the links down below as well as there's links up in the iCard. We have documented this entire first time home buying process. All the numbers, we share every single number. If our escrow video isn't up yet, in the escrow video, I'm going to be sharing um, the complete breakdown of every single penny that had to be paid in cash because I know a lot of people just, as a first time home buyer, you just don't know. So anyways, make sure to check all those links and I'm gonna take you guys for a tour around our new home. Let's start off the tour with the view off our front door. We live across the street from the forest and I, I mean that's the thing that sold us on this property is that we literally have no neighbors across the street. Our neighbors on the side are not too close because everyone's on at least like a half to a third of an acre or larger and just listen to how peaceful it is here. No freeways, no road noise. It's beautiful. All right, so let's take a look. So keep in mind, again, that we are not moved in yet and we have boxes and all that kind of stuff everywhere still. So I'll do another house tour once we are officially moved in and unpacked. So when you first come onto our property, which is half an acre, we have this huge paved driveway which again is another huge selling point. We're mostly sold on like the land part of the house, but the house itself is also cute. Um, so we have our cute little, it's a three bedroom, two bath, about 1300 square feet. I think it's 1,350. Um, it's a two car garage, but it's a little bit bigger because it has this whole section over here. Here's our front door, say hi Mav. Hi. Say hi. And um, front door and then this little side door over here is a little bit odd. Um, we think this used to be a carport that's been converted into a porch. Then we have a small little grass area over here. There's um, road access to the backyard. We have these really fun giant pine trees that are going to keep us busy picking up pine leaves and pine cones. Let's go inside. Okay, let's start with our entryway into our new home. It's really simple, pretty small. Um, as I go through, I'll try to explain future upgrades. And when I say future upgrades, we're just talking, what do you find? A dog toy. A dog toy in the backyard, huh? When I'm talking like future upgrades, I'm talking <laughs> like five, eight years probably till we can do this because we have to figure out how much it's gonna cost, <laughs> Buy crap, figure out how much it's going to cost and then save for that. So, this is the entryway and then um, lovely tile floors, which we've already encountered. That these grooves are pretty deep. I don't know if you guys can tell, but they're pretty deep. And so, sweeping these floors is kind of a pain. So, when you first walk in, here is the kitchen. And again, we're not moved in yet. So, you guys are just getting the raw look. So there's this whole wall of cabinets over here with our gas stove, which is brand new, came with the house. Then over on this side, our fridge. So we had to make some adjustments. We had to cut out the cabinets that were up there. We still need to repaint up here and over there. And then we had to cut some of the cabinet off to be able to make it so it actually could fit. And you guys can see that it is a close fit, but the door's open. This is our brand new fridge that we got on Black Friday sale. And you better believe we got the essentials going. Got that half off. And then just a really simple old school sink, old school countertops. The cabinets have all been freshly repainted. Um, the whole house has new carpet, new paint, um, a few new appliances. Note that there is no dishwasher and there is no microwave in here. So the kitchen is probably the biggest thing that we're gonna want to remodel as soon as we can afford it. But um, I have some ideas. I know that we can paint, there's some um, floor paint that we could do in here. Um, there's also countertop paint that we could try out. So it's very humble. But we are so excited. This kitchen is probably twice 
maybe three times as big as the kitchen we've been living out of lately, so we're excited for this kitchen. Come with me over here. It has these little um, built-in things right here, which I'm not a huge fan of, but um, my mother-in-law had a cute idea of painting this a chalkboard paint, so it'd be like a big chalkboard right there. Thought that'd be cute. Here's our little dining nook. We already replaced that. That used to be this light right here. And then, so thoughts for remodeling is one day we will rip out this wall, but it is load bearing, so we'll have to put a beam up here, so that'll be expensive. We can vault the ceilings. Um, I don't know all the technical terms, but Hobby's been up there, and we can eventually expand it. Eventually rip this out, extend the kitchen over this way, have an island in there, vault the ceilings, close off this door that just goes into this porch right here that you guys saw when we were outside. Then we'll put our kitchen table out here. This is just the idea for now. And you guys can see that I'm thinking our TV will go over here, couch will be in there somewhere. Our couch is super oversized for this room right now, but we can't afford a couch, so we're just gonna make do with it until we can afford something. One big project that Hubby did amazingly well is he installed all these lights with the help of one of our amazing friends. Um, this room had zero lights in here. We still need to um, clean up and repaint a couple spots, but it makes a huge difference. Let me show you guys. So what I'm excited about is it's on two switches. So the first switch, and they're dimmable, is in the back. And then the second switch are for the lights up here that are also dimmable. And the reason they decided to do that is because if our TV's over here, we might not want a huge, it might have a huge glare on it. So if that's the case, we can just turn off the front ones and have the back lights on. So anyways, that's the living room. Then outside our backyard, let me show you guys. We're just so excited about the land. So when you first walk out our back porch, we have this really nice size deck. We're gonna have a barbecue. Um, I think probably where I'm gonna put our outdoor table that I'm gonna be refinishing, probably under here because it's covered. Um, so it'll be a little bit more protected when it rains and stuff. We have this nice big deck. I think eventually what we'll do is put a fire pit right here, but for now it's a sandbox that Mav got for Christmas. This is a really fancy spot for our septic tank which is actually kind of a disappointment because we were thinking if we could extend the house this way, but we can't because the septic is there. So if we ever wanted to do that, we'd have to move the septic probably to a corner of the property. So that will be super expensive. So that might just limit us and that will be okay. Here is where our propane is. Then we have a nice size shed on the property already. So it's a half an acre. So this is one neighbor here back neighbor there and then our big beautiful giant oak tree I'll take you guys for a walk down there but it is so pretty so kind of what we're thinking um just first thoughts off of um landscaping is we want to do like a mini orchard along the back side of the property to give us a little bit more privacy along that fence and do two rows of fruit trees so like avocados oranges and apples that kind of thing if we go along to the side of the house for now this is where we're keeping our tent trailer but we uh, we're thinking about planting berry bushes along this fence again to give us a little more privacy because that's the master bedroom and then the boys bedroom right there eventually one day we're gonna want to have some goats and some chickens the plans to get a cat because um, this yard is totally infested with gophers, so we need to fix that ASAP. But here is our really cool, super old oak tree. Here is this huge old oak tree. Can't you guys just imagine a really pretty wedding reception out here? Tommy thought I was crazy thinking about our kids' wedding receptions here, but I'm thinking this is the perfect place to have them. Here's a look at the house from the back side. We have to fix um, the covers on the septic tank and then we'll cover those in so the kids don't fall in our septic tanks because that is, um, let's not even think about that. But anyways, there's the backyard. And you come down the hallway and we have an old school bathroom. Another thing hubby did in here is this light up here used to be just a fan. 
but it is now a fan and a light. Really cool mirrored door. Old school shower, old school tile. It's been cleaned, but it still looks dirty because it's just old. This house was built in 1960. Bathroom, super old school and dirty. This whole house is just kind of old. But this bathroom is actually a very decent size. So kind of what our idea is, is when we have money to remodel this bathroom, what we'll do, the idea is when we can remodel this, is we'll move this shower back so it is flat against this wall and then our sink, um, so then it'll be toilet and then sink right here and that'll open this whole thing up. Um, there is no storage in here, just underneath the sink, so we have to fix that. Then, if you come just right out here, is our another mirrored closet door, and all the closet doors are kind of crooked. Now, you guys just have to remember that this is an old house, and it's been kind of like upgraded a little bit. The carpet's new, but it's super cheap, so we'll have to replace it sooner than later. We're just really excited about all the potential. That's what we're gonna be talking about a lot with this house, is potential. It's gonna take time and money, but you guys know we are patient, so we can make it work. So here is the one half of the closet, and then if we open up the other side, this is the other half of the hall closet. This is pretty much the only storage um, outside of the bedroom closets that we have. Coming down the hallway, there's this little nook. On the other side of this wall is a master bathroom, which is tiny. So one option is to bump it out eventually to make the master bath a little bit bigger. But for now, I think we're just gonna put our bookshelf in here because we have nowhere for that. In here is our master bedroom. Pretty simple, but we're excited because it is a good amount bigger than our current or our rental bedroom. Rental bedroom, we probably only had about, um, I think it's 22 inches on each side. This one, there's so much more room. There's a fan, we're replacing the light bulbs right now. Then a three, a big, nice giant mirror over there. And then um, we're planning to do a wide dresser right here. Our teeny, teeny, tiny master bath right here. So I kind of am thinking that we'll be able to do some like built-in shelves right here. We're gonna put a whole vanity right here. It's gonna make it feel a little bit smaller, but we have to get some storage in here. Replace the lighting. This bathtub actually has been replaced. It's just a cheapy one, but it'll do for what we need for now. But I'm excited that we have two bathtubs in the house. You smash the spider? Yeah. Good job, guys. This is just an old closet, as you can see. So plenty of room to hang things, lots of storage up here. And then again, some more storage down this side. If we go out the master bedroom, this is where our furnace is, so maybe one day we can, re we can um, move that somewhere else. Oh, the other thing is there's no pantry with the kitchen, so we have to figure out a way to get a pantry in there. I, ha I need a pantry. So here is the boys room. We have their, we have everyone's bed frames ready to go. So when we move in on Saturday, we can just put our beds in and we can have a good night's sleep. So again, it's bigger than their current bedroom. So we're excited about that. Um, it is kind of a bummer that this is really the only wall for the bunk bed. So it kind of cuts the room off right when you walk in. But again, we're just making do with what we have and we are so happy and excited and grateful for all the things. And again, a nice big giant closet with lots of storage. And then the last room would be Kennedy's room. We don't have her um, bed frame in here quite yet, but this is the smallest of all the rooms, but it's still bigger than the room that she is currently in. And we just got the propane today, so it's nice and cozy in here. And then she, again, has a good size closet. It's smaller than the other closets, but it still has lots of room for storage. Oh, and how could I have not pointed out our beautiful fireplace. I'm so excited about our fireplace. I kinda wanna see if I can distress the brick a little bit to see if I can get some of the original brick to shine through so it's not just tons and tons of white paint everywhere. So anyways, there you guys have it. That is the tour of our house before we move in. I'm so excited to start documenting all of the things, all of the projects that we have going on and sharing with you guys 
on how we do it on a tiny budget because we want to save as much money as we can and then teach you guys how to do the same thing. So make sure you're subscribed and I'll do another house tour once we're actually moved in with all of our furniture and settled a little bit more. Make sure you're following me on Instagram because on Instagram is where you get to see the in real life time, in real life? The like real life timing of everything happening and um, our day to day frugal living tips. So thanks you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. And we will talk to you guys very soon. Bye. Bye.